Oh. This game sucks. I don't like this game anymore. What the fuck is this? You're stressed out, Salamander? You doing okay? Oh, at least you get to talk to the other two girls. Yeah, I know code. Oh. What the fuck is this garbage? I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally able to see any attention she might draw to herself. That's how it started. That girl is your neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. Oh, I don't like this. But she's going to chase after me like this. I must feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the cross so I can let Jean's generic catch up to me. <laughs> What the? I thought the game was crashing. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually worse being surrounded by couples and friends groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always what? My mouth is full of spit. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. What? I always tell myself it's about time to meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content by getting but average while spending free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in the- What the fuck is happening? Uh, literature club. Trace back. Alright, the trace back hasn't changed. Oh my god. There's a readme file. Oh, those are actual. That's a legit readme. What's in the log? Nothing. All right, I'm not. Oh. Uh. Contents. Oh, that's something. Resources. Lib. Nah, don't need that. Oh, I don't like it. Uh, there's always an anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. No, no, what the fuck, dude? Every time it does that, it freaks me out, and then I get goosebumps, and then I get cold. Just a lot of work for school, I got you. How is school going for you, by the way? Crazy shit is happening. Is this the first bad thing that has happened? Yep. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not a happy dating sim game anymore. This is not, this is nightmare fuel. I know her name. Oh, because I've sat next to her in classes before, I guess. I'm confused. Monica. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Is my character not aware? Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Mon Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh -huh. about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And that oh wait, in that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature <laughs> club. Stop doing that game. A literature club. Literature. That sounds kind of dull. 
How many members? Or how many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. No. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. My whole back and neck is tight right now, guys. It hurts. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Yeah, what the fuck happened to Sayori? Did Monica say she? Did I miss that? Hmm. Hey, Big Papa! By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh... I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Did Sayori's spirit inherit or like transfer to Monica now? Please. Um. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, Big Papa. You know that? It's nothing really. Shall we go? Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irres irresistible smile. What? Timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. No, 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 no! The fuck was that? Why did she gotta come in all creepy like that? What's wrong with your character portrait? I don't like it. Ugh. Why would you join a debate club? That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. Did you see how she... She was all jacked up. Burr. It's cold. I'm back. And I brought guests with me. <gasps> what? Stop. Oh my god. Guys, I keep kicking my... Oh, I'm sorry, Jada. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Guys, I... I kicked... My um, keyboard desk and I scared you to keep an eye on those boards in the wall in the background. The the things that look like calendars and stuff. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be so mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Big Papa. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. We're missing one. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, no I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one that I don't recognize. Am I replaying the game? Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. A a anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. This is Yuri, the vice president. No. No. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Big Papa in a classroom and decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you? Let me know in advance before you brought anyone new. I was going to. Well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would. Oh, wait. Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Big Papa? I don't want to sit down. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. Ugh, she's popping up at me. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here. But we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised- Oh wait, I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You 
could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out an all-out effort to make something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work really hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. You keep bringing up the festival and I don't like it. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki, Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri turns the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set? Or you keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. This is deja vu, guys. We're playing the same thing. I don't like it. Keep an eye on those boards. Yeah. I, I don't think that was a spoiler. I think that was more of a... a notice thing. Yay, Nats can enter normally. Yeah, right. Yeah, but... No, some things stay the same in the game while others are different. I think you have to go through their game. What? I guess. Uh, don't let yourself get- er. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That was... a little forward. Eh, that's- that's not- Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, so big, Papa. What kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, I don't like that my character has no recollection of Sorry, Doesn't music sound funny? Considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to himself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Mm, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity- oh, wow. I, uh, space out on her voice. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling good stories such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds herself comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Toys with these psychological helmets usually immerse me as well. Fuck. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Yeah, I'm playing a bunch of horror. Oh, I read a horror book once. I'm playing a horror game now. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> Hi, Monica. <laughs> I didn't expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, uh, I think I read hers wrong. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful to change the way you look at the world if only for a brief moment. Can you stop mentioning horror? You're really making me realize what this game is. Ah! I hate horror! Same. Well, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes are over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. You look like you're working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, Natsuki, you write your own poems? Yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You... You wouldn't like them! Uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes sight more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Oh... Oh my god! It's 9.55! I want to be done with this game! Ah! 
Oh. You must be willing to open up to readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if she shares any of your work, you can send an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to, to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea! How about this? Natsuki! Er, Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Ahem! Uh -huh. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you yes, agree as well, Big Papa? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we've all reached the most important talking, I bl bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other books, or other clubs to look at, and, uh, I lose my train of thought. All three girls saw back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> uh... The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I... I guess I need to tell you the truth, Big Papa. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the high festival... Uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Big Papa? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. Uh... I mean, if you really just left after all this, it would be super pissed. He didn't bring cupcakes this time. Big Papa, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I have to pee. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Wait, will I get to write poems for Monica now? That's a fucked up thing to think about. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Really? You think so? Because I'm still having PTSD. Ever remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Big Papa, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing abilities? I already feel like the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. See you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the cl club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in Literature Club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure Gertrude Fulton will find me. And I guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. Is it actually going to make me write a poem? Would you have unlocked a special poem? Would you like to read it? Uh, I don't think so. The game has different stuff that happens in it. Just keep going. It. I know going through the same stuff can be boring, but okay. I don't think I want to read this. Start at the dot to reveal a special message. No. Mipa, I don't trust you at all anymore. I don't. I love you. Oh, that's adorable. They're not jumping. Okay. Anything happen with the trace back? Nope. 
stare at the dot and say I love you. Okay. Infinite mouse, vibrant, sweet, massacre, uncanny, pink. Maybe I shouldn't do dark stuff anymore. Maybe that's why bad stuff happened. I'm gonna save. My whole save file is gone! History? Oh, that's cool. Guys, I should be ending stream right now. Because it's 10 o'clock. But I'm freaked out. Like, I don't want to go to bed right now. I didn't like that at all. That was nasty. Mm -mm. I didn't like that. And that stupid happy thought thing is there still. Can I delete that? Oh, oh. All right. Um. I don't know. I don't know, Salamander. I don't like not seeing Ciarity jumping around here. Oh, that was nasty. Um, I don't like it. I don't feel good. Uh, there's a skip button that I can't skip. It is 10 o'clock. Should we end here or should I do the poem? I think I should do the poem. Infinite mouse. Sweet, vibrant, massacre, uncanny, pink, pure, entropy. Ugh. I'm not seeing anything in the game files anymore. I gotta pee. Alright, I'm gonna do the- I'll, I'll do the poem real quick. Entropy. Jumpy, poo, flying, captive, misfortune, strawberry, waterfall. Waterfall! What was a Sayori one? Maybe it wasn't. Philosophy. Starscape, holiday, awesome, covet, together, depression. Depression was Sayori. Oh. Despise, music, color, desire, milk, breathe, rainbow, extreme desire. Broken. Rain cloud. Whoa! It's weird! Defeat, nightgown, question, friends, quiet, excitement, lazy, cry. Marshmallow, vanilla, spin suit, tenacious, play, shiny, empty, whistle. Empty. Raindrops, adventure, memories, anger, electricity, vivacious. I'm gonna do memories just because. Socks, disarray, nature's sadness. Whoa! All the Sayori things got transferred to Natsuki. Maybe not. Vitality, jump, infallible, passion. Fuck! Peace, pleasure, fluffy, misery. Melancholy. Agonizing. Horror. Uh... After image, because uh, Yuri wrote a poem called that or something like that. Heaven sent, cheer, twirl, dark, intellectual. Disaster. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got all Yuri stuff. Hi again. I'm gonna save. And we'll deal with you and deal with that tomorrow. Yes, I'm sure I want to quit. Why was the stream boss alert going off? God, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, man, that scared me. Oh, um... Some of those were originally Yuri's. Some of them were originally uh, Sayori's, and the game is not closing again. It... Like, it gets stuck on this... Are you sure you want to quit screen? Oh, man, um... 
Cookie time. I don't even know what to say about all that right now. Crimson, we're giving the doggy some treaties. I'm going to have to cuddle the crap out of the doggos tonight. That is definitely going to have to happen. Holy crap, that got dark and that got deep and that got heavy very, very quickly. Holy crap. Yeah, that was nasty, dude. Uh, I was not on board for that at all. Uh, that was, um... Okay, I, I'm understanding why the, some of those tags are in the, the Steam library now, because that was dark. Now I'm going to have to actually go through and, um, edit that. And, uh, put a, a warning on some of those videos. Fuck. I don't even know how to end stream right now, guys. Like, I lost. See, or did I, I think I, I might have done something wrong. I can't exit the game. This game does not end it. Like, I actually have to close the program and, uh, control it, delete it. Hey, stop. Um, I liked Sayori. I did. And now the game's glitching out. And I don't know what the hell's happening with all that, but I am so cold right now. Like, seriously, someone just sucking all the heat out of me because I'm freaking out. Oh, I don't like it. Ugh. And we're not done with it, guys. This is, like... According to online, people beat this in four and a half hours, and we are, like, six hours in. I guess we... Did we beat it? I guess that we considered beating it, but then it made us... It... Like, I tried to load my game, and it freaked out, and it started with a new game. Which is wild. Hug the puppers indeed. That escalated very quickly. Uh... Hey! Mifa with the five bitties! You want some booties? Say so thank you for those five booties, delicious five booties. Nom, 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 nom. Good stuff, good stuff. Nom, nom. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, anyways, it looks like we're going to be playing some more tomorrow. Um, I thought we were going to be playing something different tomorrow, but apparently we're playing... Although, is... Because I... I'm, okay, I'm torn here, because technically... We finished the game. I mean, I can't even do air quotes for that. It's like air quotes around my air quotes. Because we finished it, but it started us up into a new one, and Sayori's missing. Although it looks like they're, it's going down a very similar path, but without Sayori being there, some other stuff has to change, because Yuri's now the president, or uh, vice president. And now I'm intrigued, but also terrified. So I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys go let me know in the Discord if uh, we should move on uh, to a different game or if you want to, if we should go through another, just like finish this out and see what happened. See if, I don't know. I don't even know. I can't even begin to speculate. But I got to just go let me know in the Discord what you guys are thinking, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's not over. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. I guess we'll figure that out. I have to pee so bad. Um. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to go watch some some like Miyazaki or something because uh, my brain is overloaded right now, and it's like you need to go take a nap or something because you are stressed the hell out. Anyways, um. Also, my lighting feels very funny right now. I don't know what's up with that. But I have no energy to even bother fixing that right now because that was a nightmare that just happened in front of us. So, anyways, uh, also the uh, the chat needs to get a little bit bigger. Bowels Moving Castle. That sounds like a terrible, terrible show. Bowels Moving Castle. That sounds gross. I'm gonna move these. Let's fix this. Fix this. And then. That's actually one of my favorite Miyazaki's Hell's Moon Castle. Great one. Anyways, I have to pee very bad. Uh, I'm on the second act. Okay. Bowel sounds like a nightmare. It does. It sounds terrible. Ugh. That sounds nasty. Anyways, uh, 
thank you guys so much for tuning with me. I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Wait. Uh, yes, that's the outro. I forgot my outro. My brain is fried. Um, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, if you remember to spay new to your pets, adopt them a shop, donate to our scoop, you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering that is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I am Faceive. This one is Jadis. Hippo butt is right here. Mom is. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Boop, 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 boop.